Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Solar paired with batteries might be one of the cheapest ways to expand the grid. So says Gary Holden, the CEO of Pulse Energy in New Zealand. His company is installing 250 solar battery systems every month because consumers are asking for it. We've structured an energy contract so a consumer can get solar power, get a battery, buy the remaining grid power from us, all for the same price. What makes this work in New Zealand is a simple change in the electricity market called time-of-use pricing. Yeah, time-of-use pricing is pretty simple. It's establishing a price for power during the day, a price for power during the evening, and a price for power during the night. The reason it's not the same price is because the network itself and even the way the power plants work actually are driven to different cost levels during those three time periods. In New Zealand, half of the 29 electricity distributors are using time-of-use pricing and have converted fixed distribution and transmission costs into variable costs. With this model, solar, batteries, and electric cars perform very well economically and actually help save on grid costs. With batteries, consumers are able to sell high-priced electricity and consume lower-priced electricity. But it is fair to send price signals so that people do things in competition with the network. Put on solar panels, put in batteries, buy LED lights, buy electric cars. All these things are market responses to pricing. Fixed and non-energy charges total about 58% of my electricity bill in Alberta. This distorts the market and penalizes efficient users of electricity. You know, it's funny, in Alberta, frugal users pay the most. It just doesn't make sense. It'd be like you had a hybrid car and you pulled up to a gas station, and because you had a hybrid car, you pay more. It doesn't make any sense at all. So getting rid of fixed charges is quite essential. In their market-based system in New Zealand, Pulse Energy is attracting consumers to grid solar battery contracts in droves. We're signing up about 500 a month to what we call a grid solar battery contract. And then we find about 50% of those don't have the right roofing system. So about 50% of those then default to what we call our 100% renewable grid contract. The cost of distribution and transmission has soared in recent years. The New Zealand system allows solar and energy storage to compete head on. And if you're an economist, you start to say, wait a second, that's not really the right way to look at this. It should be competing head to head with the new increment of the grid power, both the transmission and the distribution, in addition to the energy itself. And when you do that comparison, solar power and batteries are vastly more economic, uh, particularly where summer peaks are driving the overall capacity of the network. Gary Holden is the CEO of Pulse Energy in New Zealand. He's also the former CEO of NMAX in Calgary, Alberta. He has solar on his home in New Zealand, and he drives an electric car. Not just to do the right thing, but because it's a smart economic decision. Tune in next week for part two of our exclusive interview with Gary Holden. We'll find out what impact the renewable energy revolution will have on our grid and you and me. Learn more, check out our photos and blog at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.